guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Aegis Ajani's Last Stand. Whenever a creature or planeswalker control dies, you may sack this to make a 4 4 angel. My spell or ability and opponent controls cause you to discard this, which it never will in limited. So for four mana, we get a four four angel if a guy dies. Oh, avatar. Sure, whatever. Definitely says avatar. Av Who cares? What does it matter? <laughs> you can't even type it right. All right. Whereas this guy is just a 4-4 angel already. It's a sphinx. No, it's just an angel. They're all angels. Everything that flies is an angel. Also, they could just kill this. I think I actually just want this. Oh, sleep? That's a good dude. And in real life, Crucible of Worlds will never get past to you. So keep that in mind. Um, I was actually looking for the price of Crucible. Make sure I didn't miss anything exciting. The Avatar does fly, which is weird. That's why I was like, oh, why is it an Avatar that flies? Crucible of Worlds is $1.50. I'm just going to take this sleep here. Sleep is pretty broken. In real life and on the internet. Reassembling Skeleton seems pretty good. Can we be blue-black? Are there any artifacts that I care about taking here? No. Is Archer better than a Reassembling Skeleton? I don't know. I think it's one of these two. I like Shock. Hmm. I actually didn't even see the Shock at first. Alright, I'll take the Shock. Mirror Image. We have it enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature you control. I actually like that. I like Sift better, though, I think. I also like Electrify as well, but I think Sift is better than Electrify. If that's not weird. I'm also more inclined to definitely be blue. Yeah, I'll take the Sift. Oh, Essence Scatter? And a Snapper? Yeah, I'll take the Essence Scatter here. That's blue removal as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I think drawing three in Limited is, and especially in a core set like this, is really, really strong. Cancel? Cancel! Uh, I think we're just taking all the blue cards here, and we're just cutting blue like as hard as we can. Uh, I would like Mirror Image a lot more, too, if I could copy the opponent's stuff. But at that point, it's literally just Phantasmal Image. It's a better Phantasmal Image. So it's like a, just a different card. I guess it's three mana, right? So it would be like... I mean, they have to make it... They have to give it some distinction from, from previous versions. Otherwise, it just, you just get better and better. I'll just take Scholar in case we're the really cool artifact deck. I don't foresee us being that yet. I also feel like everyone wants the artifact cards. So. Um, I think it's actually Apparatus here. I don't think it's totally lost. Maybe it is totally lost. What up, Dr. Funkburger? And now I like Apparatus with Scholar. That seems good. Um, I might just want the bookcase. Like, the bookcase is actually fine if we're playing the artifact deck and also if we're trying to go over the top with a bunch of flyers. We only have one flyer, but we're blue, so that's cool.
Also, being able to make a guy unblockable is not nothing. Uh, Gearsmith Prodigy. Reassembling Skeleton came back. It's interesting to me. I don't think this is good even if you have artifacts. It's just not. Like, a 2-2 two -two for 1 is just fine. I think I'd rather have the Skeleton. I think I'm just going to take the River because I don't foresee us being black. Yeah, I'll just take the river here. Uh, I saw one episode of the New Comedians in Cars getting coffee. I saw the Dave Chappelle episode, which I watched specifically the other day. So, um, sure, all of these things are fine. Why is my sideboard so big? This is a reasonable 10 cards. I don't know. Okay, well, I guess we can just keep opening Fraying Omnipotence. I guess that's a thing. Probably Snapping Drake. If we took the black card, we could either take Lich's Caress or Strangling Spores, which are very, very strong. I guess we could still take them. I almost feel like they're too slow for this format, though. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes even sense. Scholar could be good. We also already have three artifacts. Is that better than a Snapping Drake? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea what to take here. I like Caress, but I mean, like, is it worth giving up a shock to take a different colored removal spell when you can just take an on-color card? I don't know. Magic's hard. I think it's probably just Scholar here. Okay, well, now we're feeling real silly about our choices. Aviation Pioneer is good, so is Siege Breaker Giant, whatever the hell this weirdo is. How much does armor like this cost? Look how big this guy is. Sky Scanner. I, I'll take any of these four cards. Or also this one. This card's great, but do we have a reason to go black here? I'd rather just take an artifact to go with our double scholars. Is Aviation Pioneer better than Sky Scanner? It's two bodies instead of one body. Maybe. I think the one two is relevant. I also think this is just way stronger. I'm taking this guy. This is this card's way stronger. And then, oh, actually, Lich could be good here. I don't think Lich is very good here. None of these cards are any good. Remember when there were good cards in these packs? I want to take the Lich just in case. Enigma Drake. Not great. This was a just in case pick. Also, these these packs have not been not been pleasant for us. I am not a fan. Like this guy's not gonna be very actually, maybe this guy is gonna be just fine. Alright, fine. A graveyard Marshal? Oh my god, what is even happening right now? I really don't want another four drop. Strangling Spores and Grave Marshal in the pack still. I feel like mistakes were made. Alright, we're putting you in the sideboard. We're going to try to splash you at some point. I think it's just Bone to Ash here. We're going to have Cancel and Essence Scatter. Actually, I'm just going to take the Divination. Stay on color. We can take this Surge Mare. Yeah, Surge Mare is good. Well, we can have a second Meandering River. Which would be nice if these white cards we wanted to splash, but... 
I guess we'll just take mediocre omen speaker. Mediocre speaker. What a second needs to make sure fan again. That card does do everything. We could target all of our opponent's things. This guy's just fine. Wow, nothing came back. It's pretty rough. Oh, this guy came back, though. All right. That guy's very playable. This deck, kind, this deck is kind of all over the place, unfortunately. Let's open a Nickel Bullet so I don't feel bad about splashing the, uh, the black card. Whew. Well, it's not a Nickel Bullet, but it sure is a thing, isn't it? I will take this. Yeah, that's a pretty easy pick. Oh, followed by Jenna wishes. Everybody's everybody wins here. I would like to take this electrify, but honestly, it could go either way. Our red cards are Giant Drake Shock Tormenting Voice. I don't care about, and our black cards are this. Alexa, stop! <laughs> Why would you do that? Unbelievable. That's just rude. Oh, Skyscanner over Electrify? Mm, I don't know if I'm doing that. We already have four artifacts that come into play before turn four. <sighs> Dragon's Horde's nice, but we don't actually have any dragons. So, just taking Electrify here. Also, this card's great. Second Mirror Image. Okay. Mirror Image can copy a bunch of valuable creatures like Jin, Symbiont, Scholar. Which Scholar? I don't know. There's like five in our deck. Matthew Ori, congrats on the weight loss, buddy. Oh, we can splash white now, too. I'm just going to take this second shock. Manolith is cool. Helps us splash the symbiont, but I'm not sure I care about it that much. I'd rather just have a removal spell. Open the graves is good. Instigator is uh, it's cute, but it doesn't really do anything for us. I'll just take open the graves. Is this the same Dragon's Horde, or is this a different one? Why is this rare? This time I will take it, because it's just a literally a better Manolith. This is a Dragon, interestingly enough. And it's probably better than any of these other cards in this pack, so... Okay. That card's good. Oh, another Dragon. Alright, now we're, now we're just playing Dragon Tribal Dot deck, apparently. I don't think we're splashing black for this guy. That seems a little greedy, even though we do have Dragon's Horde. I also don't think we care about either of these dragon-based strategies. Is Dragon Egg actually just good? Who knows? Who knows? All right, so we have four cuts to make. That's a, that's a good amount. I don't think I care about this. 
when we have double shocks. Is three scholars too many? Probably. We can go down to two scholars here. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll try to keep these in. I think they're reasonable. This guy's good. Salvenger seems good with uh, our selection of instants and sorceries here. You don't need two equipment for, with so few creatures. With 13 creatures, we don't need two equipment. Also, yeah, but we do need artifacts for our scholars. So, that's a thing. I mean, I could take the axe out and take one of the other scholars out, but... Uh, I would sooner play Sift over Encyclopedia. Three cards is really good. I think you guys tell me not to play Sift. Actually, have actually not played Sift. It's pretty ridiculous. I mean, this is six mana for for your first card, and then three mana for each additional card. So, so to do the same work Sift does, you're actually spending twelve mana. I don't know if I like the horde though. If we're not splashing the black, I think that's a little stupid. I can also see taking just one egg out. I think this is actually fine. Fidget13, thanks thank so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I think this seems good. Also, I think with only 12 creatures, you want double you want double equipment because it makes all of your creatures that much better. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't actually consider the commander decks that are released in 2018 are called Commander 18. The core set that's released in 2018 is called 2019. It just actually doesn't make any sense. It just feels like bad branding. I will play first. I will mulligan. Boots at head. Turn down for what? I don't know what that means in this context, but I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Your generosity knows no bounds. Or its bounds are five dollars. I will keep this hand. I'll put you on top. I want to lead with this just in case uh, we want to shock something and then we can't. I like challenging myself. I mean, the odds of them playing something on turn one that we wanted to shock is low. But this also lets us uh, lead into Surge Mare if we draw it. We knew we weren't going to draw it though. We knew we were drawing us in Scatter, I guess. So yeah, that's fine. I'm going to put the shields down. I'll trust you don't have anything super broken to play next turn. Reason being, if we don't hit a land, I'd like to try to hit a land next turn with this arcane. Uh... No context, just waiting for the next time I come across you in the modern leagues. Sounds good. All right, so we couldn't counter that anyway. That's good. Always nice to have a <sighs> planeswalker on turn three. Been one of those days, guys. One turn down for Buck. I like it. I'm a big fan. Let's try to hit a land here. Hey, look at that. We're very good at this game. Pretty sure they're just going to ultimate a Johnny. We're not going to be able to do anything about it. That's my... Uh... How nice. Really? You're going to go to combat before you put the counters on your guys? A bold strategy, Cotton. Ah, oh, the old post-combat counter. A classic. I 
That's weird that he read the card after he attacked because he used it the previous turn. So it's all uh, it's all coming together. Oh, the old 10 power on board, uh, double five, seven combat. That's good thing stuff. We're having a good time. Everybody wins. Except for us. We lose. Hmm. This is ridiculous, dude. How funny to not essence scatter this guy. What mistakes we've made. Actually, I think we're still dead, right? Five, six, seven. They put the counters on first. This guy... I thought this guy traded for some reason. I don't know why. I think... Yeah, I mean, like, unless we hit something really good off here, we were pretty much dead anyway, so... Yep, all right. <sighs> How many times do I have to lose to a Johnny? We would have hit a Surge Mare, which actually also would have killed us. Getting real tired of losing to a Johnny. That's the second time it's happened in probably less than 10 drafts. So That's cool. Guess we'll play first. Yep, this hand seems fine. I always get this confused with Surge Mare. But, still got two drops, so... Again, we're not going to... We're just going to risk it. We're going to risk it and not Essence Scatter here. Because next turn we can cancel, so... If Johnny was tired of beating me, that he probably wouldn't have beat me last turn, right? Here we go again! As long as we can hit lands here, we're good. Okay, no double white. I don't care about that either. <sighs> I'm going to block if I have to, but I don't. All right, hitting lands here is great because now we can counter thing and we're still on course to play this siege breaker yeah I don't care about any of these things but I think we're at a point where we have to start getting rid of some of them right no maybe no I don't care about that <laughs> Really? This is what you're going to do with your life? That I will counter, because that that is more difficult to block. So. Hey, we did it. This guy should be big enough to uh, hold down at least one fort up to many forts. Let me get my cancel back. 
Ain't no cancer back, girl. And make this dude 5-5. Five five. That's pretty cool. All right, so they don't have a Johnny here, and uh, everything they're doing is pretty unimpressive. So... They could triple block here, which is kind of frustrating, but I guess taking out these two guys, I'm just going to play this guy. I think we're way ahead of a Johnny anyway, so. Plummet. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, just stop it. Yeah, I'm just going to trade here. I'm just gonna play this and keep up cancel and essence scatter. Um I wanna bottom both of these. We don't need lands at this point. I would like a flyer of some sort. I would even take scholar to hit a land and then keep up essence scatter, but Yeah, I don't trust this guy with your ridiculous aura deck. Well, now we're definitely not ahead of a Johnny. Hey, look. We did it. Wake me up inside. Um, I think we're going to divination here. All right, we're at one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna a point where if we draw one more land, we can play Siege Breaker Giant and still queue up cancel. A Johnny just wins the game for them, I believe. So I'm not really gonna, I don't really want to throw my my cancel mana down when they could top deck in a Johnny and just change the whole game. We're under no pressure right now. We're also at a point where we can just keep lands and uh, start pitching them to Siege Mare. One more land. That's the land we wanted actually, so we can play Giant. And eight is the limit for us. Any future lands are going to get pitched to Siege Mare. Yep, don't care about that. Six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can also just sleep them this turn and keep up cancel, which is probably what we're doing because that's really strong. You ain't gonna lie, Craig. Yep, sleep is a busted magic card. All right, next game. N n n next game. Yeah, I don't think we're bringing anything in here.
Um, yeah, this sounds great. We're going to play this because we don't have anything to do on turn two, but we would like to play a Surge, surge Horse, Surge Mare, if we draw it. Oh, they didn't have anything. That's pretty good. Okay, we're doing well. Now we get to Encyclopedia instead. Yeah, that's fine. Don't hit a planes. Dang it, they're so good at this game. It is unbelievable. We're gonna draw a cancel, so it's fine. Here comes a Johnny. And we just can't win. I guess they didn't have a planes though, or else they would have played planes instead of forest last turn. Oh, good. Well, that's going to be problematic. Electrify one time, which we haven't drawn at all. Yep, that's, well, that's a guy. Yeah, that's fine. That's probably the best, best play we can have here. <laughs> Shock. Shocking. Yeah, here we go. <sighs> Everyone's having fun. Just kind of want to hit my land drops. Nope, can't do it. Okay. Seems good. Yep. How did he die? Well, he didn't play magic, so. I mean, theoretically, if we can play Gearsmith and double block here, it's great, but I mean, we're gonna take eight damage before that happens, so we're probably not leaving this guy behind. Hey, we did it. Yeah, it's fine. Also, if we get to play this next turn, it's actually pretty good. We get a 5-5, five, five, we get to attack and make a knight. Maybe we're not dead, but we're probably dead. Yep, that's a dude. If this is a five, if this is a four six instead, we'd be in great shape. But it's not, so we are not. Land. Oh, we did it. Uh, if we go block block, we're still dead. If we attack and they triple block, it's pretty bad. I guess we go block block and we can block here. Yeah, that's not looking great. We can go shock scavenger block here block here we'll take two and then just you know hope they actually don't have an answer for this guy Look what happens if they troll block we get rid of two guys also the knight that's attacking will just get blocked by the spider so then we'll have one blocker and they can either just take five, so we just take a million next turn. Yep, just gonna have to pass here, unfortunately. Don't have an answer, I guess, in your four cards.
It's not an answer. Okay. We are still alive. Is it worth double blocking? I mean, we have to deal with this idiot next turn. This is terrible. See, the problem is the blue-red deck just has no way to deal with this guy. Like, if we draw a sleep, it's actually pretty okay. Whatever. It's actually not. It's not okay if we draw sleep. We just don't do anything. What does Shock and Scholar... What is... What's... What is... What does Shock and Scholar do? Like, we just die to all these guys, right? Like... Yeah, Trample's not... <laughs> Tramples a real ability. Oh look, now you're gonna now you're showing up, huh? Okay, that's pretty cool. Of all the non-sugar drinks, probably Diet Sunkist. I think it's probably the most OP of the of the diet drinks. Yep, I was really hoping you'd block here, but Yep, cool. I had a good time. I don't know about you guys. Do you guys have a good time? Oh, uh, we... Mm. Yeah, I guess we could have played Scholar there. Um, I forgot about the sixth mana. Seventh mana, rather. Yeah, green seems like the really good color in this format for some reason. Like, it just feels like there's so many creatures that you just have to deal with. Like, I'm not even cancel. I'm not even divinationing here just because if they play, like, four drop, I want to be able to deal with it. They're just going to pay for Druvenator Elf, so it's not going to matter, but... Oh, they didn't play anything. All right, we'll just ramp into a Degen of Wishes. And by ramp, I mean play lands at a reasonable pace on our turn. And our opponent misses land drops. So, didn't attack last turn, but attacks this turn. And then, okay, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, I'm almost wishing we did that last game. I think I was just a little tilted, obviously, because they had a bunch of things. So we could have played Scholar with Double Blocked. Uh, we could have shocked the other guy because we hit our seventh land. And then we could have actually... I mean, we would have, would have scried, too. I think, our, I think our game was good. We actually had outs. I was trying to get them to block the 4-2 with the 6-6 six, six because we didn't have a land, right? So we're representing no mana. Uh, and then we're able to shock it. 
Are you fucking? Are you kidding me? You literally have plummet in your main deck, and you have it on the turn that I play Gen of Wishes. Is this real life? I don't understand. I'm trying to. I'm trying to wrap my head around it. What's going on? Happy Friday the 13th, indeed. Yep, that card's hard for the blue deck to deal with. Boy, Magic's a real cruel mistress today. Like, really? Like, this is what you're going to have in your main deck? Like, and you're going to have it in your hand? Like, what in the earth, dude? Definitely... Definitely a bastard of a day. You are you are correct, my friend. You are correct. I kind of just want to electrify this idiot. And then keep a best and scatter. Or we can put an axe on this and then keep a best and scatter and cancel anyway. Let's do that. Just kind of lay the axe on the egg. <laughs> Yeah, just kind of lean it against it. It's it'll be fine. It'll know how to. It'll know what it's doing. Good times. Oh, I have another Titanic growth in my hand. <laughs> Jokes on you. Current one Bohemian Frank City buck. I'm okay with it. Oh, they did have another Titanic growth in their hand. Oh, boy. Please respect the roleplay and not equip the egg with me. <laughs> All right, you see an axe in the distance. I want to put an axe on it. Um, okay, it's just an egg. You can't put an axe on the egg. I want to put an axe on the egg. Okay. Well. So you can't, we're not, it doesn't make sense to put the axe on the egg. Just put it on the egg. I want to put the axe on the egg. There's seven mana, so we can Salinger keep it best and scatter. I think that's fine. Get back Electrify. I think that's probably the best bet. And we can still pump and block here. All right, well. Shove the axe through the egg, then I can hold it. Yeah, that's actually a great point. I had not considered that. I, uh, I think that actually, yeah, that solves it. And, uh, you know, what, what could possibly go wrong? We got here a rabid, a rabid bite. Okay. Well, that's cool. We're all having a very good time. I'm enjoying myself. I don't know about you guys. I like that we went from 3030 to 2121. Um,. I forgot what our Wednesday record was. Our Wednesday Adams record. <laughs> I just chump block here like an idiot. Joke's on you. Should play Essence Scatter. Or should have. If we equipped this, well, then we'd still have a 2 2 here so they could actually rabbit bite this guy and we'd still just have a 2 2. Yeah, play a creature. Make me feel good about my life choices. Great. Cool. Nothing could go wrong. Oh, well, that's positive. Staying positive here. What could go wrong? Absolutely nothing. One, two, three, four. Let's sift a little sift. What does that even mean? Sift a little sift? What does that even mean? Nobody knows. It's like he's made of nonsense. Um, bookcase can block... N yeah, equip this guy. Block here, block here. Take four... Assume you don't have a card that's going to just really kill us here. All right.
right. Ha -cha 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 -cha. I can see Frank not even ending the YouTube video and skimming straight to end on that. Yeah, it's like, I don't even... And on that note, we're never playing Magic the Gathering again. It's unfortunate, but these are the uh, this is the price we pay. And boy, have we paid it. Bookcase with an axe. It's, it's a... The role play is strong here. Were they gonna just were they just gonna play their Titanic their titan their third Titanic growth first? Boy, I went from really liking this format on Monday when I went 3 0 twice to just just being real real real, real miserable about it. Why not also attack with this guy? Alright, we're not dead. What the heck is going on? How are we alive? Block here, shoot here. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, we don't even have three blue. This is amazing. We can play this. This. We can play only one of these cards. One of any three. That's that's incredible. So we actually, if we play this, we have to double block here or else we die. And then we die to this. If we play this, we have, we, the only thing we can play is electri Electrify here. And I'm pretty sure we have to play it now. And wish we had Cancel in our hand. Because if they have Titanic Growth or something on their turn, I'm just, it's just worse. It doesn't matter. We're probably dead here. I, I don't imagine that we win. This is brutal, man. Okay, what? Okay. Are we still alive? Did they just have nothing? Or are they like still had all these tap for four, kill your guy, attack you? I, they can't do that, right? No, this makes any sense. I'm very confused about the happening, the goings on here. Yes, that was the correct line because if we didn't do that, we die. So, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh, it's got to be this guy. All right. Well, we're still alive. I'll keep you on top and put you on the bottom. For obvious reasons. Man, that bookcase looks weird. Why do you say that? Is it holding an axe? Oh, it is holding an axe. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. It is holding an axe. Four, five, six, seven... Bane fire for six. No? Okay. Palaka worm. The gift that keeps on giving. A ghost raffle? What's a ghost raffle? So, what do we have here? We're probably dead, right? They're at 30 life? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, good times to be had by all. So, 6, 7, 8. We can double block here. And then we... They lose their worm. Oh, they're just going to play a thing. God, we are on... We are on borrowed time, my friends. Oh, what a cringe fest. And they get to draw a card. What a... What a... What a goddamn time to be alive. Block you. Double block you. Shoot your stupid face. Hey, look. They have three cards. We have no cards. We're at two. They're at 30. They have a guy on board. We have nothing. So we got this.
Oh, good, a rare. Okay, well, that was... All right. Well, that was certainly something. I actually thought that was the end of the round. I thought we'd lost a different game. I forgot that was the first game where we played, we played uh, Gen of Wishes and they immediately shot it down. I want to bring another Dragon Egg. That's a decent blocker. I don't care about Arcane Encyclopedia that much. Bird, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. God, red feels terrible in this format. So does blue. I just want to be green, white, and black. Atomic Frog, welcome back. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Thanks for sticking around, I guess is what we're saying here. Oh boy. Oh boy. See, this art's kind of the same. They have these like curved creatures underwater. Oh god, wishing you could I mean if you if you drafted M nineteen on arena, the biggest problem is having to play it on arena. hi -o. If you're super rich, I imagine you're having lots of gold jewelry, some sort of stunner shades, diamond earrings. No, that is... Uh, it's not really my style. I would have... I might have some Yeezys. Because I like some Kanye shoes. But um, other than that, I'd probably have nice watches and uh, nice jackets. But not... There's no, like... I, I'm not a big gold... Gold and diamonds are nowhere near my style. Arena is free. However, you just said I wish I could draft M19 on Arena without dropping money on the game. So, hmm. Hmm. Um. We're gonna play a Montagna, a Tony Montagna, so we can, if they play a guy, we can kill this stupid goblin motivator. I don't want you to be coming at me with no. Still probably killing this guy. The gold draft rotation yet? I literally have no idea what that means. The gold draft rotation. I'm just going to play this guy, and I think we're going to get back probably Essence Scatter here, because if we can keep them off things like Palaka Worm or Volcanic Dragon, I'm going to feel real okay with it. I have an update. I passed an hour looking for a game, and it just looped back to zero. What does that mean? Looking for a game? Oh, in Arena? Holy Jesus, that sounds miserable. <sighs> I'm just going to take this. Demos. Does Arena look nice? I think Arena's kind of cluttered. To be quite honest. So here's the problem. If they play Volcanic Dragon, we just get boned. So I'm actually just going to play this. And keep a Essence Scatter. They can also play Palakworm. Both those cards are very, very hard for us to deal with. So Essence Scatter time it is. Of course, they're probably just going to naturalize this. Which is the saddest thing that you could do. God, what's it like to be... Our opponent. It's got to be very good. It 
feels really rewarding. There's a quick draft option that costs 5k gold that you draft against bots and play games against people. It's You draft against bots? What the hell? That's weird. Is it always bots? Birdie bots? Jelly beans? Anybody? Yeah, Kerwit, that's probably me. That's probably an accurate representation of me. I will take one. This bogger brute's problematic too, because now we can't get in there with Surge Mare without trading. Which I don't really want to do. I don't really want to do. Do you want to do that? I don't really want to do that. Oh, Aether Revolt is the draft format the week of M19. That's a classic. Dr. Funkberg with the random random leftover bits. I accept. I accept. Boy, this this today today's drafting has been uh miserable as as the French would say. Oh, you killed my egg. That's cool. I like a good egg. I I've got eggs. And I know how to hatch them. I've got eggs. Let's do it. Boom. Let's loot. Looting for days. Horizon Scholar. Mountain. Yes, please. Oh boy. Oh, you got a Because of course you do. It's draft weekend for paper magic, so they probably want you to go to an LGS rather than play arena. But yeah, but wouldn't they not have it on magic online as well if that were the case? I mean I haven't spent any money to play it on Magic Online, so. How have we drafted two decks that don't do anything? I just want green cards. Oh, 
Old Hove, what does that what does that mean exactly for someone who can't read the article right now? Big Pokey, thanks for the lucky bits. Appreciate it, buddy. We're working on it. At least they use their plummet, right? So that's good. I feel like this Dijin of Witches can actually turn this game around. I almost feel like I have to counter this. We just don't have any efficient answers to this creature. Like, they know we have this. They're probably just playing around it so they can resolve their Palaka Worm, but... Like, what, what can we do? Oh, it's an old Dingus Egg. And we get two free spells here, which is nice. One of them could be sleep, which is worth considering. Let's plummet the opponent's dreams. <laughs> if only it were that easy. If only... We know cosmic rays exist and have detected them for quite some time, but have never traced the highest energy ones back to their source. So where is the source? Let me see what you said. Trace nutrients and the highest energy cosmic rays back to an extra galactic... What extra galactic mean? Outside of our galaxy? Oh my god, did they just play this in such a way that they can't actually kick it? Oh, that's very good. Oh, they done messed up A.A. Ron. Oh, I love using all three red on this guy. That's fantastic. Let's begin combat. What did we hit? An island. Is it just revealed? It? I see. Two lands off the top. Boy, this card is... I thought this was real cards until you reveal a non-land card, and then you get to play that card. Apparently not. I see. Well, I mean, I'd rather discard the bookcase than the scholar. Like, and if I discard the bookcase, the scholar is worse. I think I actually just don't care about this idiot. They have one card in hand. Yeah, let's get rid of the stupid egg. Uh, Giant doesn't become unblocked. Oh, I guess because we have bookcase. Yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. Um, I really just want to keep this up again, but is that better than just, like, playing this guy? Probably not. Sure. They really never don't have it. 
All right, well, no attacks is good for us. That card's obnoxious. So five, we have nine mana. We can use five of it. Play a bookcase. I just want to make sure we can start dealing some damage. Sure. All right. Well, it's a good thing we didn't use the ability that turn. If you guys, if you could also let us know if there's aliens involved, that's really all I want to know. I've been waiting since I was born for it to be aliens, and it's never aliens. All right, so they have no cards in hand. That's pretty cool. So this guy can be a what? A five, uh, six, seven? Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we can actually, it's a two for one. Why not play the land so you can activate? Because I don't, I don't, I want to be able to shock and pump. We already knew what we were doing, and I'd rather keep the land in case we want to surge mare. I don't think aliens are that highly improbable. I don't think the conditions... I think the, the amount of conditions for life uh, is extremely uh, small considering how many uh, planets and, and exoplanets there are in the universe. Like, I think they're, they're being a low... I think, I think the, uh, the conditions needed is not even relevant. Four, five, six. That's a good deal. I think we could possibly win this. Yeah, they're in top deck mode. Let's just try to win. Mayonnaise could be an alien. Uh, I have my doubts that the human beings would be the first life forms. That is literally... that. Is, I think that is also a thing a human being would say. We're probably the first life forms. Yeah, I have my doubts. Are you talking about the Drake equation? Or the Fermi paradox? I 
I would rather be a human with alien thoughts because then you'd be superior to all the humans. Uh, whereas if you're an alien with human thoughts, you're probably the dumbest alien on the on your uh, on your you know of your species. Um. I almost want Dragon's Horde in here because we're playing both Dragon Eggs. Maybe Salvager is too slow and you just want Fire Elemental instead. Yeah, I get the Drake formula and the uh, the Fermi Paradox. Drake Equation is the um, the rate of processing power, right? No. No, wait. What's the... What am I thinking of? Oh, the Drake equation is how many um, potential places there are, let's say. I think Marauder's Axe is pretty bad. We can probably cut that nonsense. Um... I like Fire Elemental almost more than, like, Salvager here. Salvager might be too slow. This guy could also be very good. Especially if we're playing Dragon Horde. Bring in you. Take out... Take out one Scholar. Moore's Law. There we go. Uh, the sand seems good. I will keep the sand. Pretty sure we're gonna kill this thing immediately. I don't. I also don't want them to draw Titanic growth and be able to pump it. So we'll just kill it now. I oh, speaker also a very good drive. If we were gonna win a game, I feel like this is probably the game to win. Oh, that's that's a little scary. Bottom you, and I'll bottom divination too, which is weird, but we don't actually have, uh, like we already have sift. you I guess make a little bird boy plummet rabbit bite sure sure do we just take six now this we're dead
I mean, we're just dead if they have the growth. So, I mean, it's not really... It's whatever. <sighs> of course they have it. If you pump this guy twice, we take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and go to three, and then we can't block both. All right. Well, this is unfortunate. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm not going to play the third round this time because uh, there's no point, and we wasted enough time playing rounds uh, that we uh, don't really have a reason to play. Uh, appreciate the support. Unfortunately, these last two drafts have not gone well. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and Twitch and... Uh, you know, you can find a way to offset some of the misery that we've experienced in these past two drafts if you want to support me there. Uh, casual Calamity, I'm not leaving. I'm actually just ending the YouTube video as usual. You should probably know that by now. And uh, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.